13.8 billion years ago, all matter out of which the universe is made was compressed into a small ball with infinite density and intense heat called a singularity. This was the moment at which all our known laws of physics break down. Then suddenly, singularity began expanding. This was the moment when time came into existence, when space came into existence. This was the beginning of the universe. This was the Big Bang. The universe expanded and expanded rapidly. 10 to the negative 32 seconds after the Big Bang, the inflation began. The universe underwent a burst of expansion. As it expanded, it became less dense and less hot. Now the time came when pairs of particles and antiparticles began to form and destroy each other randomly in collisions. When a particle and its antiparticle collided, they annihilated, destroying each other and leaving nothing but immense energy behind. All the matter particles and antimatter particles would have collided, destroying even the last pair. But fortunately, the amount of matter particles was more than antimatter particles, and very small amount of matter remained. Now, as the inflation ended, the universe consisted of a hot plasma of quarks, electrons, and gluons. As the time passed and the universe cooled down, these quarks began to form protons and neutrons. A stage came when neutrons, protons and electrons began to organize themselves in the first ever atom. Several billion years passed and matter began to form gas clouds. Denser regions began to become gravitationally attracted to each other, forming the first galaxies. Over the time, billions of galaxies formed. Many galaxies collided and combined to form much bigger and newer galaxies. Among these, birth of a very familiar galaxy took place. It was none other than our Milky Way. Matter and gas clouds began to concentrate in particular regions and gravity showed its magic. It was the time for the birth of stars. Hundreds of billions of stars were born in every single galaxy. The whole universe was lit up with these beautiful shiny balls of fire. Time passed and some earlier stars got older. They have consumed all the fuel and can no longer manage to shine. The star begins to cool down and as it cools, it expands and reaches the red giant face. The core becomes so hot that the star explodes out into a supernova. What remains behind is an infinitely dense and extremely massive core. It is called a black hole. It is the region in space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. Many stars died over the time and became black holes. But the cycle does not stop. The remains from these explosions were used in the formation of the next generation of stars. Nine billion years passed and somewhere in the Milky Way galaxy, something happened. A giant cloud floated in one of the spiral arms of Milky Way. Suddenly, the nebula began to contract and collapse onto itself. The temperature started to rise and the fusion of atoms began. And this marked the birth of a medium-sized star. It was no different from other stars, still very special to us. It was none other than our sun. Now the remaining material in the nebula swirled around the sun due to gravity. The material began to stick together into bigger chunks of matter and began to collide and merge, finally giving rise to eight planets. Third planet from the sun, the earth was going to be our home planet. But it was largely molten at that time. It was red hot beneath the crust. But during this course of collision and evolution, 
something happened. Another rocky but smaller object collided with the earth. The debris from the explosion began to orbit around the earth. Over the time, the debris collected to form bigger and bigger things. And finally, this led to the formation of our moon. Over the time, the solar system became stable. The first four planets were rocky. They are today called as Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. Rest of the four were icy and gaseous with a small rocky core. They were Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune and Uranus. The first two planets were too hot and close to the sun for life to evolve, while the four in the last were too far and too cold. Earth was in the right position for the existence and evolution of life. Over the time, Earth began to cool down and became stable. First form of life appeared on Earth around 3.5 billion years ago. Life forms evolved and evolved and around 300,000 years ago, first primitive Homo sapiens appeared on Earth and today, around 13.8 billion years after the Big Bang, we humans have become so intelligent that today we are talking about the evolution of this universe itself. So this was the story of our universe from Big Bang till today.